The more I date women, the more I find myself understanding heterosexual men. Let me explain. Exhibit A. I was on a first date with a girl, who asked me out by the way, this is relevant, because when the check came, she never once made a move to pay. Not even like the fake, let me reach for my purse move. And though I don't mind paying on a date, part of me felt like, you know, the offer would have been nice. I was also a little taken aback that she didn't even say thank you. And I never heard from her again. It really made me feel like she just asked me out so she could have a free dinner. And the moment I thought that, I was like, oh my god, I sound like all of my guy friends right now. And my argument against why guys should pay for dates has always been like, look, girls take hours to get ready. Our investment is looking really nice for you. Makeup, clothes, that costs money too. But we were both girls in this situation. We both took hours to get ready. One girl invited me back into her house and her specific specific words were, do you want to come in and make out? Obviously, I'm like, yeah, you're really pretty. I want to press my face to yours. But then when we got there, we both just sat on the couch and she talked till like 3 a.m. And I was like, yo girl, I gotta wake up at like 6 a.m. I finally understand a lot of the complaints my male friends have about dating. Now I really get it when they say, dating is just so expensive, man. I wish it were more socially expected to go Dutch on the first few dates, but you're like a jerk if you even suggest it. So guys, let me just read some comments on that, this video for you. Of course, you already watched that video. This person said, I think men should sometimes pay. But for women, the point we should get out of this video is be grateful. Say thank you. Don't act like you expect it. Offer to pay you. But if, if, if he says no, accept it. Don't push. Help him during the date with directions, suggesting things to do after being an active participant. Ask him about himself too. If there's a, if there's a law in the conversation, it's maybe not just because of him. Maybe it's you and you need to be coming up with more things to say to while you get you know, to know each other. Maybe buy drinks afterwards to show your gratitude. And then on the second date, when plan something nice for you to, to do together with a specific date, time, and location. Such as, I think it would be fun to go to the Getty Villa with you on Saturday. I can pick you up. So now you are at least contributing something of, he said, something of driving location and an experience to share with each other from what i've seen men from what i've seen men don't always mind paying but if they are paying put in some effort to make them feel appreciated i love this and this this was actually from a woman and i love this she captured it very well let me just read more comments for you guys this person commented the more women step into the shoes of a man the more they find out they don't want to be there. Exactly. Forget all what women are saying, how you know, women want to be independent and all that. The very minute they get the independence, they start crying wolves. We've all seen it play out. So, well, I don't even want to diverge so much. This other person has said, more women need to date women. See how that goes. Exactly. And we all know that women are very vicious and very vindictive when they, they mean it. Imagine two vindictive people in a relationship. Just imagine that for a second. We know, you know, men don't like you no know, drama. They will go to any extent to make sure they have peace. That's why you hear the, the term happy wife, happy home. Why do you think men are allowing women to get away with that? It's not because they are foolish. It's because they they value peace that much that are willing to allow the women to get away with all their shenanigans. That's how men are wired. But we think, guys, let me just read comment. Let me not talk too much. So this person commented, sorry, but this is flawed. Men pay because that's how dating works. Men ask women on dates. That's why they pay. What is this person? <laughs> I guess this, this woman is still living in the 1990s. She's not aware of the, of the way women have been going on about how they don't need men, how they want, you know, equality and all that. Unless she's the kind of femi femi feminist that's choosing and picking 
where to apply equality, which is what we've been seeing women do. So this other person now commented. Lesbian relationships feel at a rate significantly higher than any other type of relationship. Shocking, I know. <laughs> of course, I'm sure by now you've heard about the lesbian um, birth rate that is higher than any other relationship, which is weird since women claim that they know what other women want. Isn't that funny? This person now wrote, we got, we got rational woman before GTA 6. <laughs> This person commented, the makeup deal is not justification for why the guy should pay. Yeah, or putting on makeup only. Okay, yeah, or putting on makeup daily, regardless of if you are going on a date or not. Even if they are putting the makeup just because they are going on a date, does that equate that because they are going on a date that's with a man, that a man should not pay for the dates and the dresses? That's that's stupidity if you ask me. Like, oh, okay, th then just get up from your house and you know come out like that simply because you don't want to put any effort. You want you are feeling entitled. Nonsense and ingredient. This person now said women tea. Of course we know. This person now wrote um that whole hours to get ready argument never made sense to me. Exactly, it never made sense to me. But what do you think if you're a woman watching this? So because a man asks you out for a date, so he's entitled, you are entitled to his money. He needs to pay you. I've also seen girls in my country, Nigeria. I've seen a video where a girl, like I've heard it, I've heard it a lot of times. Girls in my country saying, if you are a man coming to ask them out on a date, you should send send clothes, shoes back, like money for their makeup and all. Simply because a man wants to go out on a date with you. Meanwhile, for the fact that you're even thinking this way shows that you, might, you are not even what he wants. Because any girl thinking like this, you know, you're a material girl. It's not good to be a materialistic girl if you can afford it. Or if your man does not mind, you know, because he loves you looking clean. But now you're feeling entitled to it because you are he, you know, he's asking you out on a date. And you showing, showing, showing forth that trait already tells the man the kind of person you are. And you know what men do with women like that? You know, they will just chop and clean up like my pussy, and you never see them again. And you come on the internet and they're crying how the man used you. Excuse you, but guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What's your own? What's your own take on all this? A man having to pay for the girl's outfit and all before the girl can come out on a date with him. What have you had that kind of experience before? Do you know somebody that has experienced it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.